Good morning, it's Monday and it's the paper review. On the property side, house sales are booming, says Lloyd's TSB, as heavily promoted in the Express on page one. House price stories are always on page one of the Express, probably at least well, twice a month because it boosts circulation. The truth of the stories is irrelevant. Um, meanwhile, um, LMS, our client which specialises in conveyancing and remortgaging, says that remortgaging are beginning to bounce back from an all-time low. That was reported in City AM today. Um, that's probably going to be good for the future in terms of mortgages have been quite stagnant over the last few months, but remortgages are set to grow and it's going to be helped by the government funding initiative as well. So good news on the mortgage front for the next few months, I think. On the personal finance, interest-only mortgages are going to be attacked by the FSA, says the FT. This is um, about where you have a mortgage which has not got a repayment vehicle. Lenders will be forced to check with borrowers that they can actually afford to pay. There's also fears or, or speculation that claims companies will start seeing this as the next mis-selling scandal, i.e. if lenders have not um, got um, their borrowers um, proof that they can be repaid, that lenders can be held accountable for the mistakes and therefore um, sued by claims companies. This is all going to happen over the next few months, haven't they? Housing benefit bills are set to rise because rents are rising. But the one that I like best from the stories that's relating to personal finance is the fact that women earn, which, which earn very significantly less than men, save less than men. And that's an amazing survey by Scottish widows. No shit, Sherlock, as they say. On the business story front, Lloyd CSB is going to ditch annual bonuses in favour of long term incentives because obviously annual bonuses get attacked by the press. And capital registrars are reporting a boost in dividends from public companies. But the one I like best is the nonsense story of the week. German research claims that uh, they have worked out the absolute perfect day for a woman to have total happiness. And this consists of 50 minutes of cooking and 100 minutes of spending time with loved ones. I told you it was nonsense. Only here can you get this nonsense on tape. Thank you.